Denmark and legendary racetrack Vochens, the country's national speedway stadium and home to this year's FIM Speedway of Nations. Over four nights of full throttle racing, teams from 15 countries will go wheel to wheel and it's a battle not to be missed. First up, the semi-finals. Then Speedway's rising stars will get their chance to shine on Friday the 29th of July when the under-21s meet in the first FIM Speedway of Nations Son 2. The senior stars then return to the track on Saturday the 30th in the conclusion of their race for glory. Here's how the tournament works. Each national team is represented by three riders, two starting riders and one reserve. The two semi-finals are both made up of seven nations, in which each country faces off once across 21 heats. Each heat consists of four riders, two from each team, and team riding is the name of the game. A first place finish will score a team four points, second place secures three points, and third place will grab two points. Come in last or fail to finish, and it's zero points for the team. The combined total of each pair will determine the outcome, so avoiding last place is key to success. The top three countries from each semi will progress to join host nation Denmark in the final, in another clash across 21 heats. The first and second place teams will automatically go through, but third and fourth must face off in a qualifier for the right to join them. At the end of the final, the team with the most points advances to the grand final, with second and third place contesting a grand final qualifier for the remaining spot. The Grand Final, the ultimate duel where the tournament's two best teams do battle one last time. The country that emerges victorious will be crowned the FIM Speedway of Nations World Champion for 2022. You can catch all the high-speed drama as it roars into action right here, live on Eurosport.